Happy Thursday. Oh, let me show this. Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. Please say hi as you come in so I can greet you properly. All right, let me go live on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. What you mean? Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. So we are live on all of our usual platforms, Instagram and Facebook. Let me move this over just a little bit because I feel like I'm not centered. Uh, hey, Phenomenal Chefs. Hello, hello. Um, tonight we only have two stories, guys, but they're pretty meaty, so I think they're going to take us to the end of our time, but if not, we will just jump into Q and A. Um, yes, it's Thursday, y'all. Friday Eve. Hey, Facebook friends, as you come in, please say hi in the comments so I can greet you properly because Facebook doesn't tell me who's watching. Uh, unless you say hi or unless we're already friends on Facebook. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started in two minutes. Make sure that you share this out to your friends at 805. Why is it so dark? Hold on Instagram. Okay. There we go. Much better. Okay. Uh, yes, make sure you share this out to your friends at 805 so that uh, they can share in the gossipy goodness. Um, yeah, today was pretty good. No complaints. How was your day, guys? Anything special on the horizon for you? Now that we can actually, like, imagine a non-dystopian future. <laughs> um, don't mind me, I'm silly. Okay, uh... What y'all doing? Where's everybody at? Okay. We got two people on Facebook. Hey, oh, hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> I love that name. All right. Somebody popped in who I knew, but I don't recognize that. Oh, hey, it's Margaret. Margaret, you changed your um you changed your profile picture. Yes. Okay, so we're getting started in one minute. We only got one minute. Um hey Whitney. Okay, Winnie said, again, I'm listening, I'm driving my little guy home from a little three-week stay in the hospital. Okay, keep your hands at 10 and 2, girl. I'm so glad that your little boy is coming home. I believe his name is Brayden, if I'm not mistaken. Brayden, how you doing, honey? You fighting the good fight. All right. Um, so we're getting started very, very soon. Hold on, y'all. I got a story for y'all makeup girls. And I got a story for y'all uh, about inf inf influencers trying to scam Amazon. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's 8.05. We are going to get started. All right. Let me hit that good old record button. All right. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to NPL Legal Dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. If this is your first time watching me or listening to the podcast playback and you're like, who's this lady? I'm Natalie Pierre Lewis. I'm the host of the show and I'm the owner and operator of NPL Consulting LLC, a business formation firm. What that means is I help people like yourself get your business paperwork together. So things like um, getting 
getting your articles of incorporation registered with the state, getting EIN numbers and DUNS numbers, making sure you have appropriate contracts, um, brand protection strategies so people don't steal your business ideas, and hiring policies so you don't get sued for discrimination. <laughs> all right. If you are wondering why I'm qualified to help you do all of these things, I am very happy that you asked. I am a licensed attorney. I have been one for 14 years and counting with a specialization in business formation. I started multiple businesses for myself and others, both online and offline. I've had many careers in the realms of entrepreneurship, the law, education, hospitality, and administrative support. And most important, I'm very passionate about making business and legal education as accessible to everyone as possible. Not everybody has the time, the money, or the desire to go to business school or to law school, but a lot of you have amazing business ideas. And if you're going to be successful in business, there are just some things that you are going to need to know. There's no way around it. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to help y'all out. All right. Um, so if you are in the startup phase of your business and you are looking for some legal guidance, um, I'm your girl. Go to linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm and book a free consultation with me today as well at linktree forward slash npl consulting firm you can download the free biz launch cheat sheet that will help you choose and start your dream business in seven days or less uh at linktree forward slash npl consulting firm you can also subscribe to the youtube channel and the podcast so that if you can't join us live you can catch up with it where there are tons of videos on youtube over 275 i think we're nearing 300 videos now um and at, also that's at linktree forward slash npl consulting firm that is where you can access my video training so i have video training on different aspects of business formation. So I have a training on teaching you how to get an EIN number, teaching you how to get a DUNS number, teaching you how to create an operating agreement for your business. So Linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm, that's where it's at, okay? That's enough about me though. Let's get to the show. That's why you guys are here. Are here. Hey, Lolita and P. So the way that the show works is I pull stories from the news, stories from blog sites, stories that you awesome people send to me. Y'all be on it. I got some people here that are regular contributors to the docket, and I thank you, particularly you, 76 Grimke. Um, but yeah, I pull stories, and I take the ones that have lessons that we can learn as business owners, and we talk about them. So this is a time for you to get involved, for you to give your opinions, and ask your questions as long as they are respectful. OK, it is a lot more fun when we participate. Hey, essentially true. So I want you guys to participate. OK, don't be shy. We are friendly over here. Come get some room on the couch and let's get going. Grab your glass, whatever you're doing. All right. OK, let's get started. OK, <laughs> like I said uh, earlier, um, we only have two stories for tonight, but they are pretty meaty. So I think they'll take us to the end of the show. But if they don't. Hey, oh me. Uh, but if they don't, we will just jump into Q and A. All right. So if you have any questions for me, you know, start getting them ready just in case. All right. Uh, our first story of the evening. If you are a makeup enthusiast, if you, you know, if you like you know, lip glosses. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Uh, if you like, you know, lip glosses and makeup and all that stuff, give me a lipstick emoji. Give me some type of makeup emoji. My makeup girls, my makeup boys, whatever you like. If you are into makeup, you know, look, I don't put on a face very often. Y'all have seen me on here every once in a while with makeup. As much as I really, um, you know, admire the makeup girls, that's not something that I can do all the time. Essentially, True gave me the nails. All right. So you into makeup. Um, essentially, True, as a, a 76 Grim K is into makeup too. Have you guys heard of a brand of cosmetics called Too Faced Cosmetics? T-O-O -O, Faced Cosmetics cosmetics <laughs> oh i love the lips essentially true thank you whitney for the lipstick if you have heard of Too faced cosmetics give me a number two in the comments okay um Too faced cosmetics they're pretty well known um i think they they're carried in sephora um probably ulta but they're a pretty well-known brand of uh, cosmetics. Essentially True has heard of them. Whitney Han said that's one of her favorites. Essentially True said gave me a two. Okay. Oh, hello. Gorgeous said uh, gave me a two as well. 76 Grim K gave me a two as well. All right. Uh, Margaret said once in a while for me, never heard of them. Okay, girl. Yes. Yes. I love makeup, but I'm not, I, I can't do it every day. Whitney gave me a two. All right. 
So if you have heard of a makeup brand called Glow Con Concepts, Glow Concepts, give me a G in the comments. If you have heard of Glow Concepts, give me a G in the comments. If you have not, just say no, okay? Um, this is the first time I've heard of this company myself, so don't be shy if you haven't heard of it, all right? Anyway, so Too Faced Cosmetics, we know that, you know, they're a well-known brand. Uh, at the end of March of 20, it's essentially True said, gave me a G, she said, I think I have. Okay, well, you're more into makeup than I am. Phenomenal Chef said no. Okay, all right, that's cool. Margaret Massey said no. Okay, 76 Grimke said no. All right, hey, IMF Brandon, how you doing? All right, so... We know Too Faced Cosmetics, they are a well-known brand. Um, at the end of March of 2016, Too Faced Cosmetics um, filed a trademark for the phrase Unicorn Tears for a lip gloss that uh, they were coming out with. Um, now, it was an intent to use application, meaning that the product wasn't out on the market yet, but they intended to bring it out, right? So... You know, when you file your trademark application, it, um, you know, once it's accepted by the um, USPTO, it goes through a period of, um, there's an opposition period. Basically, it's like, you know, when they're at the wedding and they say, speak now or forever, hold your peace, they kind of do the same thing with your trademark application. They say, hey, y'all, they publish it somewhere. They say, hey, this company, they're trying to trademark this thing right here. You know, if anybody has a problem with it, let us know. Um, so during this opposition period, Glow Concepts, this other makeup company, filed, uh, um, asked for the, the, the application to be canceled. They asked for the, um, actually, no, sorry, I got that wrong. Too Faced Cosmetics, um, the opposition period passed. They actually got the trademark, but then Glow Concepts, asked for the trademark to be canceled. My apologies. Um, it wasn't an opposition. It was a request to cancel. Um, Glow Concepts said, um, we have been using the phrase unicorn tears before Too Faced. So we don't think that they should be allowed to have this trademark for the phrase unicorn tears. Here is the problem. Glow Concepts never applied for a trademark for the phrase unicorn tears. Now, mo it's not a 100% certainty that if you don't have a trademark, uh, a registered trademark that, you know, you can't win a trademark um, dispute, right? But it becomes a lot harder to prove it because First, you have to prove that you were first and that people recognize your brand. So Glow Concepts, because they did not have a registered trademark for Unicorn Tears, they basically had to give proof to the court to try and show that, hey, we've been using Unicorn Tears first and it's synonymous with our brand and people recognize it and Too Faced Cosmetics, their trademark should be canceled. Now, what was the proof that Glow Cosmetics submitted to the court? They submitted photos of stickers that they put on their own lip glosses because they were using Unicorn Tears for their own brand of lip gloss. They said, you know, you know, we had we put stickers on our lip gloss that said Unicorn Tears. The court the the court said, "Girl, that's not enough." That just might, that that could just be the color, right? Then they said, well, we have invoices here showing that we sold products called Unicorn Tears. And the court said, uh, okay, keep going. And they were like, you know, well, we, ha we have all of these products and we have these flavors and we have been using Unicorn Tears for about a year. What do you think the decision was of the court? Do you think Glow Concepts was able to get Too Faced Cosmetics trademark canceled? Or did the court say, go on somewhere, girl? What do y'all think? Because Glow Concepts, they don't have a registered trademark. They're just basically saying, well, we've been using this name out here for like a year or two. So how are you going to give them the trademark? We had it first. So do you think that the court said, okay, Glow Face, we're going to, I mean, Glow Concepts, we're going to cancel the trademark? Or do you think they said, Glow Concepts, you should have filed your paperwork? 
Essentially, Chu said, go on somewhere. Absolutely right. The court said, look, just because you slap a sticker on something doesn't mean that it's yours. This is why it is very, very, IMF Brandon said, no, it is, yes, it's very important that if you are serious about protecting your brand, so Mrs. Grimke said, go on somewhere, yes. If you're serious about protecting your brand, Hey, shop best on the yard. Hey, girl. Um, if you're serious about protecting your brand, you must get a federal trademark, some type of trademark, because it's it it really takes practically decades of use for you to be able to make a common law trademark argument. Glow Concepts is not that old. They may be ten years old. Not even that, right? And just in this small, small, uh, you know, population here, most of you have heard of Too Faced Cosmetics, but a lot of you have not heard of Glow Concepts, including me. So Glow Concepts, you don't even have the argument that you are, you know, a worldwide brand that people recognize. So Too Faced Cosmetics, they get to keep the, the trademark for unicorn tears. This is a prime example of why you need to file your paperwork to get your trademarks and copyrights because you don't want to have to, on top of saying they stole my stuff, you have to prove that it's your stuff. If you have a registered trademark or copyright, it is already an established fact that this is your stuff, right? Um, so Glow Concepts, they lost... Uh, Margaret Massey said, of course, I go on somewhere. Absolutely. Glow Concepts, they lost their bid to cancel um, Too Faced Cosmetics trademark. Um, and that is why you need to have your paperwork in order. All right. Um, so, yeah, that, that was just a, a word of caution to you all out there. Look, you may have been in business for three years, four years, five years, but you still like, Hi, Geminis333. Uh, Shop S on the Earth said Unicorn Tears is a cute name. It is a cute name, which is why, and that's why Glow Concepts should have protected it in the first place. Um, so it doesn't matter if you've been in, if you've only, if you've been in business for less than 10 years and you're trying to protect your trademark, get a federal trademark. You literally need to be in business for like two decades um, for, for there to be any type of clout. Um, so don't count on the fact that, you know, you're just out here, you know, out here in the world using the phrase. Don't let somebody beat you to, uh, hi, Big Bad Orleans. Don't let somebody beat you to, um, you know, to, to the trademark. If you know that this is your mark and you want it, put your money down on it. Hey, Nessie time. We got to schedule a call, girl. All right. So, um, Too Faced Cos, if you're, if you're a makeup girl, go check out Too Faced Cosmetics, Unicorn Tears, uh, lip gloss. Okay. All right. Um, like I said, we only have two stories for tonight, so we will probably finish early. So if you guys have questions, we will go into Q and a after this last story. All right. Um, and just a reminder for those of you who may have popped in, you're watching NPL legal dish. This is my Monday through Thursday live broadcast where I teach business and legal concepts using pop culture and celebrity news. If you're in the startup phase of your business and you need legal guidance to get you on the right path of entrepreneurship, I'm the person you want to talk to go to Linktree forward slash NPL consulting firm and book yourself a free 15 minute consultation today. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to our next story. Um, okay. So this is a little bit, this, this, this is like a mystery, not even a mystery, but, uh, Amazon is basically suing a bunch of influencers for trying to engage. Oh, thank you. Shop best in the yard. Um, essentially promo said not promo for two. Look, they did, they did their job. Essentially true. They got the trademark. So, and I like the name unicorn tears. Go try you some unicorn tears flip gloss. Okay. Um, thank you for the, for the shout out shop best on the yard. Um, okay. So if you didn't know, Amazon has a big problem with people selling counterfeit, uh, selling counterfeit, um, products, you know, they'll sell you, you know, fake Louis and fake Nikes and things like that. Thank you for putting the link in the comments shop best on the yard. If y'all are, um, yes, go check out my girl. She makes these amazing tumblers. I got some for my parents for Christmas and they can't put them down. Um, but yes, so Amazon has a big problem with people selling knockoff goods on the site, right? 
Um, and um, recently, Amazon discovered a whole like plot to try and get by Amazon's counterfeit um, checking measures. And they are now suing a bunch of people. Amazon is suing a few influencers as well as some Amazon um, some Amazon store owners for uh, for um, violating copyrights, for violating trademark, and for violating Amazon's uh, terms of use. Right. So now we all know Amazon is where we can go to go get you know generic generic. Um, whatever you want, be it nails, bags, clothes, whatever, right? But it's very hard on Amazon to find high-end um, high end products. You're not going to find Louis Vuitton. You're not going to find Gucci. You're not going to find Christian Dior on Amazon. Um, yes, yeah, shop, I see everything. Uh, or at least you're not supposed to be able to. Amazon recently discovered that there were a bunch of Amazon store owners. So people who were selling stuff on Amazon, they had, uh, they, there were a couple of influencers that they had deals with, right? So these stores, they would be selling generic items. So they would say, you know, they put up like a plain black wallet and you purchase this plain black wallet, right? And it says, you know, basic black wallet, da, da, da. But if you were a person who followed, uh, and hi, Miss Pregnancy with Mrs. B, if you were an influencer who followed, I mean, a person who followed an influencer that worked with these stores, the influencer would have posted on their page, hey, go to this site. If you purchase this, you get this. So they literally said, if you purchase this plain item, this generic item, we will send you a knockoff, you know, whatever it is. It might be a Louis Vuitton wallet, a Gucci wallet. So, you know, so they were trying to get over on Amazon. So if you went to the Amazon site, it would be a generic product. But when you ordered it and it came to your house, it was supposed to be a knockoff luxury item. So you could get, you know, your Fuji, your, your, your Louis Vuitton, whatever you want to call it, right? Now, this is abs this absolutely violates Amazon's terms of service if you are a store owner. Amazon makes you sign agreements saying that you're not going to violate trademarks. Amazon makes you, uh, you know, post up your business information to make sure that you are legit. So the fact that you have this whole, you know, scheme to work, you have to be following these influencers and know what product you can buy so that you can get counterfeit products, Amazon is like, girl, who are you trying to get over on? So they are now suing both the Amazon influencers and the store owners because they are violating Amazon's terms of service and they're violating federal trademark law. So ladies and gentlemen, why did I pick this story? A lot of you out here, I see you, I, you know, particularly my crafters, y'all make some beautiful items. A lot of those items are trademark infringement. And if you are trying to get around trademark law, copyright law, I'm letting you know right now, you might get away with it for a little while, but eventually they are going to catch up with you, all right? So these people, they have had, you know, their accounts shut down. They cannot make money on Amazon. The influencers are about to be sued. I don't even know how much they're going to be sued for. But if you are online selling counterfeit items, Please be aware that there are repercussions. You can get sued. They can shut down your store. You can be banned from, you know, from selling on that platform ever again. So you need to be careful. Please don't violate trademark laws. Rest on your own talent. Um, you know, you don't want to build your business on the back of somebody else. 76 Grim Grey said, why would they try to pimp Amazon? Probably because Amazon is so big, they didn't think that anybody would catch it. Like when you have organizations that are so large, a lot of people think, look, I'm just one little person. They're not going to find me. I'm telling you, they have specific departments that are set aside to find y'all out. That is what they do all day. Where's, um, this, uh, um, there's somebody here, um, 
I said, look, essentially True just said, my friend was banned on Etsy for this. Banned on Etsy. That person can no longer sell on Etsy because they were selling counterfeit items, okay? And we have somebody else in this uh, in this live broadcast who received a notification. You know, like these companies, they're not playing. They have specific companies that are out here looking for trademark infringement. Whitney Hand said, yes, yes, yes. Yes, girl, okay? So... This story is just a word of caution to you out there, my crafters especially. This counterfeit game, it's not a game. These people are serious. They want their money, and they are going to get you if they find you. So it's best to just be original and, you know, do that. Don't be somebody else. Be yourself. Um, essentially, True said she tried a couple of times to open another Etsy but shut down. Look. If the, who, praise God, if the former president of the United States is not above intellectual property law, what makes you think that you are, right? Because we talk all the time about how 45 was having copyright takedowns and trademark takedowns, and that's the person who's in the highest seat in the country. What makes you think that you and your Etsy store are above trademark law? Okay, shop best on, on the yard said, listen, they are on the hunt. Yes, they are. There are specific companies that are out here looking for trademark infringement. Companies will hire other companies to go and search for trademark infringement. All right, shop best on the yard said, facts. Yeah, look, it's not a game, essentially true. It is not a game. So I'm just letting y'all know. If you trying to if you trying to run one over on Amazon, don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah. So those were the two stories that I had for you guys this evening. Like I said, we only had two. Um, hi, the, the sincere God. So, um, so we can go into Q and a now if you guys want, um, or, you know, we can just shoot the breeze. We got, we got like eight minutes. Um, I want to remind you guys, uh, to go to Linktree forward slash NPL Consulting Firm to go check on everything that's happening at uh, NPL Consulting. Go download the free business launch cheat sheet. Set up your consultations. Go check out the video training. Subscribe to the YouTube page and the podcast. Please, please subscribe. Um, but And as well, I want to... Hold on. Shop Best in the Yard said, and they are not swift if you have to get things straight. That's another thing. If you get caught up with these uh, with these trademark and copyright takedowns, you can get tied up for weeks or even months trying to get it straightened out, even if you're not in the wrong. So just, you know, be careful. All right. Um, OK, yes. But uh, I do want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight, for giving me your energy, for your participation. You know that that's what keeps me going on this show. I really appreciate it. Uh, to those of you who are watching while you're driving, to those of you who watch me nightly, uh, thank you. Um, we're going to be back on Monday with more stories. If you find anything, please send it to me. Y'all know I love when you send me stories. Uh, ooh, I almost forgot to say hi. Mom and dad, Joey, uh, my family members and friends who watch. Hey, y'all. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the, that was what I had for you. So we can go into Q&A now. If y'all have questions about business formation about any of the stories that we have covered this week now is your time to ask now when we talk about business formation what are we talking about we're talking about if you have questions about registering your business with the state your EIN numbers and DUNS numbers your uh your contracts your brand protection strategies your hiring policies these are the questions that I can answer for you oh thank you shop best on the yard she said you're definitely amazing thanks for sharing all your info thanks doll um but yeah, but this is the time to ask your questions or if you have questions on our stories about, you know, Too Faced Cosmetics versus Glow Cosmetics, um, the Amazon Influencer story, other stories that we covered this week about Supreme being bought for $2 billion, the drone story, um, Roblox, we had stories about Instagram, Russell Wilson, uh, we had a lot. So if you have any of those, um, now's the time to ask, okay? If not, we can break and, you know, come back to things on Monday. So I will let y'all decide what we're going to do for the next five minutes, okay? Uh, or you can just ask me questions about me within reason. <laughs> you missed the Roblox story? Oh, shop best in the yard. So um, Roblox, uh, you're, oh, okay. So ask Zoe about the oomph oof death sound. Um, 
because uh, apparently Roblox was using this uh, this sound, this oof sound that this guy had created 20 years ago, but they never got his permission, and now they have to cut him a check. Um, and it used to be a free sound on Roblox, but now you have to pay a dollar for it, and it's called the oof death sound, okay? Um, essentially, True asked what happened to Russell. Nothing happened to Russell, well, nothing bad. Actually, it's good. So apparently, um, there's been a phrase... Uh, amongst the Seahawks fans, they have been chanting let Russ cook because they feel like the team is not using Russell Wilson enough. So they have come up with this phrase, let Russ cook. So Russell Wilson, he's taking that phrase. Toby, Toby is laying on the bed right now, Margaret. Thank you for asking. Um, so Russell Wilson is taking this phrase and he's making it make money for him. He is trademarking Let Russ Cook and he is coming out with his own cookware line. He's going to have cook, cooking utensils, cookware, hats, and aprons. And all of the proceeds from this Let's, Let Russ Cook trademark are going to go to fund his Why Not You Foundation that is dedicated to education, kids' health, and fighting poverty. Yeah, that is nice, Geminis 333. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, so the sincere God said, WhatsApp just sold the company to Facebook for a billion or two. Is that recent? I feel like Facebook bought WhatsApp a long time ago. Um, but I wouldn't doubt it. Look, everybody in the world uses WhatsApp. When I go out the country, that's all I use. And with some of my friends, even here, they only use WhatsApp. Margaret Massey said, I will definitely buy his cookware. Yes. Russell Wilson going to be getting that cookware change. All right. Um, he's going to give Aisha Curry a run for her money. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gemini said, oh no, Facebook is taking everything. Look, that's what it is. Facebook, they own WhatsApp, Instagram. There's something else that they own that I can't remember. Another app, but Facebook, they are, they are world, they are universe wide. Okay. Um, all right. We got three more minutes. Any more questions? Come. Hey, Shonda, how you doing doll? Um, any more questions before we close out for the weekend? I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Listen, guys, these COVID rates are, are skyrocketing. Please stay inside. Um, take care of yourselves. Y'all have seen the numbers. Almost a quarter of a million people have perished from COVID. We need to do better. All right. Um, but yeah, take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, wear your masks. Don't go out if you don't have to. Um, yeah, so I think that that's where we're going to wrap it up for, uh, tonight. I will see you guys on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, on, on, uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Stop asking the outside. The numbers are high. They are high. They are high. Um, yes. So take care of yourselves. Okay. All right. So that's where I'm going to leave y'all. Have a good night. You too, Margaret. Bye.